he doesn't change. If he spoke and dreams and visions back then, then he speaks and dreams and visions today. We had a flood of dreams and visions. Like so many. Yeah. Insert verse from Joel here. We asked for it and he was just like, boom. studying dreams and visions in January of last year 2021 and we've been on this whole truth journey of reading through the Bible for ourselves so as we're reading through we start to realize wow like this is really one of the main ways that Yahuwah speaks Yahuwah is God's Hebrew name you can watch our video on God's Hebrew names here <laughs> I don't know which side of the video so did you know that one third of the 66 book Bible is dreams and visions? Literally, like we didn't even have any idea that there were so many dreams and visions in the Bible. So when Yah comes to Abraham, he, Abraham is sleeping and he has a dream where the fire and the smoke are passing through the pieces of the animal and this is Yah cutting the covenant with Abraham. So you're saying that Yah made a covenant, which is a super big deal, yeah. with Abraham in a dream? In a dream. Everyone knows about how Solomon received wisdom. That was all in a dream. All in a dream! He was asleep. So if anyone is out there saying, like, dreams aren't important, or whatever, any of that nonsense, just look through scripture and see these very important things that Yah is doing, he's speaking to his people, he's giving them direction, he's making covenants. Dreams and visions are promised in the last days. Right. Yahuwah is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. If he spoke and dreams and visions back then, then he speaks and dreams and visions today. We want to be good stewards of this. So when he speaks to us, we document it. Because is he gonna tell us something important if we're just gonna forget it? Like we're humans, we forget stuff all the time. I have dreams from last year that are like incredible, but if I didn't write them down, I wouldn't remember the details. We wanna prove ourselves to him that we are going to steward it and that we care about what he says and that we take what he says seriously. So what are some practical steps to remembering your dreams and hearing from Yahuwah in this way? Ask him, tell him that you want them. We always lay in bed and we're praying and we ask him to speak to us in dreams and visions. Whatever he wants to say as we fall asleep, those are our last words. What happens when you wake up in the middle of the night? How do you remember your dreams? So when we first were studying this in the Bible, we put notebooks and pens next to our bed and, but since then, we've actually discovered a better method. We have voice recording, uh, like voice recording software on our phone, and we'll just, we'll have it set up. We'll say what date it is, the night of February 21st, whatever. And then we'll just lock our phone, airplane mode, set it off to the side. You don't even have to wake up hardly. Just have your phone ready. Or you can get, you don't even have to use your yeah. phone if you don't want your phone in the room with you, then just get one of those tape recorder type ones and you just record in that. And yeah, we've literally recorded things that we didn't remember. So that's a huge thing. When you wake up and you try and physically write them down, that actually wakes you, your mind up. That's why the voice recording is so helpful because you don't have to wake up all the way. Like your phone is ready to go or your voice recorder, it's ready to go. You don't have to be writing the words. What we try and do every Sabbath. We'll take our notebooks and we'll take the voice recordings that we had 
and we'll listen to them and write them all down into our notebooks and then delete the voice recordings. Well, hi. That's another tip is when you wake up, if you wake up in the middle of the night, don't think, oh, I'll, I'll remember it. We've done that so many times. Like, oh, I'm so tired. Like, you won't remember it. You won't remember it probably. And then in the morning when you wake up and you know, you're, you're coming out of sleep and maybe you get woken up by dogs or kids jumping on you or calling for you. Try and just lay there and try not to fill your mind with anything else. Like, what do I have to do today? Just just lay there and just ask you and just pray like, is there anything that I am not remembering from this night's sleep? Is there anything you want to reveal to me? And if you pray in the spirit, that's also a great tool for remembering your dreams. There's been times when we felt like we dreamed something really important, but we couldn't remember. And so we were praying in the spirit and we were able to remember the dream. How do you interpret dreams? We have to seek them out. Now, sometimes we'll get like an easy understanding. Sometimes we'll just instantly know, oh wow, I know exactly what this means. Sometimes not. Sometimes we have to seek it out through prayer. This is a verse from the full book of Esther. This is called the rest of Esther. Mordecai had a dream and in his dream, he saw what Yah had determined to do. And after he awoke, he had it on his mind and seeking all day to understand it in every detail. So after he woke up, he was seeking it all day to understand every detail. So that is what we should be doing. And that's easier said than done. So we're speaking to ourselves here because it's hard. Like you document your dream and then, oh, I wonder what that means. And then we have a tendency to want to move on. But if y'all puts it on your heart, like this is important, then you need to sit down. You need to be thinking about it, praying about it, pondering it as you go about your day, trying to understand every detail like Mordecai was doing. Often dreams are like parables, like Yahusha spoke in parables. And why did he speak in parables? He wanted to give a message to everyone, but the fullness of his message wasn't for everyone. It was for the people that were willing to put in the time and the effort to seek right. out what he was saying. It's the same for us today when we have dreams. You know, sometimes it's an easy interpretation, but often it's like a parable and he wants us to put in the effort. And he also uses that to draw us into spending more time with him because we have something to discuss. We have something to talk about. We're writing in our journals. What does this mean? We're two-way journaling. We're asking him. It's constant communication. It's a relationship. Sometimes our dreams are not meant to be understood until later on in the future. So if you're praying and you're seeking and you're not getting an answer to your dream, don't stress out about it. I had dreams a year ago that I'm just now understanding. You had a lot of visions at the beginning. Um, it's, it's deeper than a dream. You're like right. you're so, really there. Yeah, you're not sleeping, you're awake. Mm -hmm. um, the, the few that I have had were closed visions. So my eyes were closed, but I was awake. It's like they don't take a lot of time. It's like they're like this, but all this information is just like You know, Yah is just, he's always working. He's speaking 24-7. And if he's speaking at night, like, I don't want to miss out on it. And our minds sleep, our bodies sleep, but our spirits don't sleep. Our spirits can always be interacting with him and hearing from him. You need a good body? Go, Go to, to the, the toilet. toilet. So there's this really beautiful verse in Job. For El speaks once, yea, twice, yet man perceives it not. But in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then that is when he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. Like how cool is that? That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Let's talk about the three different types of dreams. Uh, dreams of the flesh, dreams from the enemy, and dreams from Yah. Mind, flesh, desires, mm -hmm. memories, experiences, obsessions, habits, traumas, mm -hmm. flesh. Mm -hmm. Then we have dreams from the enemy, or those could be nightmares also. Some people also think that Yah's warning dreams could be nightmares because they might be a little scary. That's where discernment comes into play. Mm -hmm. From my experience, when Yah is giving you a dream, 
he doesn't he doesn't give you graphic images. Mm. He can communicate whatever he wants to communicate to you through means that don't stoke your flesh. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing pornographic, there's nothing gore. There are some people out there that remember their dreams all the time. These people, the enemy afflicts with nightmares because the enemy wants them to curse their gift so that they don't hear from Yah in that special way. And if you're having consistent nightmares like that and you feel like you're actually being oppressed, then you might need deliverance, you might need to break off strongholds, you, you might, might need, need to break... To stop living in sin. So, dreams from Yah, like how do you know? What's, what's some of the things we know that it's from Him? If it lines up with His character in Scripture. Yeah. Because if it doesn't, if it doesn't line up with the things that he's already said, mm -hmm. he doesn't, he doesn't make a fool of himself. He doesn't lie, and he doesn't change his word. And that's why it's important that you actually have a relationship and you know him. And, and you know his word. Yeah. Yeah. You have to know his word because he, he could say something new. Oh, watch out! It's not in the Bible, but with it lines up the character that he has yes. in the Bible. Exactly. So there's dreams, but then there's even like deeper dreaming where you're actually going into the spirit realm or you're traveling in the spirit and maybe we'll talk more about that in a different video we have both experienced going places in the spiritual realm so we have some great resources that we recommend because this is just a little kind of basic video to get you started on our website we have all the scriptures that we've studied there's also this guy we recommend on YouTube. His name is Kyle from Live to Glorify. There's also this really good book called The Language God Speaks at Night by Charity Verkler. This other really awesome book about traveling in the spirit, if that is something you wanna learn more about. And there's one more book that is really helpful for us. It's about biblical symbols and dream interpretation. It's very helpful, so we use that a lot. Say you have a dream that you're eating a loaf of bread. So you can look up those different categories and figure out like according to scripture what Does that mean? could mean. Yeah. So we hope you feel encouraged by this video. Our, our goal is always to encourage and motivate you to grow in a deeper relationship with our Father and Creator, Yahuwah. And, and we're learning with you. Like we're not, we're not experts or anything like that. We're excited for the gifts that he has given to all of his children. All right, we love you guys. Shalom. Say shalom. Shalom.